okay welcome back to my channel and hello to a new video so um i feel like i've already addressed what is going on with the world so i don't need to continue talking about that um, i have done a whole video on it but we today are just going to carry on with the content um i'm sort of tailoring my content now around what is going on with the situation which i don't need to go into but yeah i'm trying to bring you guys some positive happy vibes i have got my positive mug out today which says be happy i'm feeling good it's all about mentality guys we have to just wake up in the morning take a deep breath and be thankful for the things that we do have even though in this crisis it can be hard anyway as you can see from the title today i I'm bringing you a pretty little thing video but it's obviously going to be a little bit of a different pretty little thing video because I know currently a lot of you are on lockdown and are staying and working at home so I've tailored it around that and I'm going to be bringing you a ton of sort of working at home outfits because if you have never worked at home the struggle can be real to motivate yourself and you know to crack on with work as you would normally because you're not leaving your house so it's so easy to get into bad routines of just sitting in your pajamas all day um, and I feel like when you do that you don't feel productive that is rule number one if you haven't already acknowledged that if you want to work productively at home you must get up and treat it as if it is a normal working day i mean you don't have to go full glam and put a full slap of makeup on you can just put a little bit of a minimal makeup look on but i would definitely advise waking up getting some clothes out of your wardrobe whatever they may be track suits or formal whatever it is that makes you feel productive and ready um, and start your day like that so i picked out a ton of outfits from pretty little thing that i think are quite sort of appropriate for at home some are more sort of like dressier some are more casual and chill and loungewear i'm gonna get straight into the video i feel like i'm losing my voice because all i've done the past few days is speak to people on the phone and just be talking a lot anyway let's get straight into the video and if you want to see some sort of loungewear at home work attire then please continue watching okay so jumping straight on into the first outfit which is what i'm currently wearing so this for me is a very typical day-to-day -day outfit whilst i'm working at home i am all for comfy loungewear and sort of like tracksuit sets some days i do dress dressier which i'll show you shortly because i feel like when you're at home sometimes you do just need to have that normality of like an office wear vibe i don't know i'll get to that yeah first outfit that i got from pretty little thing is this beautiful tracksuit set let me just come in um so they do this in a few different colorways this is the white just got a slogan on a print down at the sleeve as well really nice baggy oversized it's loop back which just means it's super fleecy and soft inside of it so it's really comfortable on your skin it's not like itchy and generally have uncomfortable fabrics so i love that about it i always size up as well just to really feel the comfiness so this is in a size 10 for reference and i got the joggers in a size 8 again the joggers are loop back fleecy fabric in the inside of them pockets this really nice sort of black slogan print on again and i really like the sort of tie waist on this as well it's got a really nice chunky black tie on it which is a little bit of a statement i absolutely love this you know i'm a massive fan of blue little things joggers anyway the fit is fab and then as you you can see i've simply teamed it with a pair of fluffy socks there's no bag and shoes whilst i am inside i know some people do wear shoes and trains and stuff inside but that for me just doesn't feel right so yeah fluffy socks are going to be your best friend or a nice pair of slippers if i see any on pretty little thing i will list them in the description bar as well this is outfit number one so comfy i feel dressed and i feel ready for the day let's get on to outfit number two okay moving on to outfit number two now this is definitely a personal favorite of mine i just absolutely love this whole vibe i've been after these trousers for the longest time but they've been sold out on pretty little thing for ages they're back in stock so get them whilst you can um, but these beautiful sort of wide leg black popper side joggers i'm going to come in and show you a little bit more so as you can see they're elasticated around the waist they've got a tie waist as well so they can cinch you in feels really comfortable and then down the side they have this sort of like popper detailing so you can undo them obviously you wouldn't but yeah i love that detailing on them they're really nice loose wide leg too so just really really comfortable for when you're sitting down at your desk or at your kitchen table um, or wherever you're going to be working from so comfortable the fabric as well i had a look because they almost feel like they're satin because they're so silky and soft 
but they're not. They're in a cotton polyester, but they definitely do have like a nice shine to them, which makes them feel so silky and soft again on your skin. So I love that. It's all about comfortability, guys. I just absolutely love the look that these give because although they're still sort of like loungewear with them being jogger-esque, they just give that smart vibe still of like tailoring almost. And then I've just simply teamed it with this sort of like sage green top. I just thought the pop of colour with it really just add something a little bit extra to the outfit you don't want to be always in black and white it's nice just to add some color into your outfits i always feel that color just lifts your mood and as you guys know i'm all for this color at the moment so yeah this is a really really comfortable top as well it's, it's got this sort of corset detailing um but it is really soft and just a size and reference i got both of these items in a size a as the last outfit it's of course tuned with some fluffy socks. So yeah, absolutely love this outfit for her. I feel like this is very sort of comfortable, but it still gives that sort of like smart, um, ready to work vibe, which I really, really like. So yeah, let's move on to the next one. Okay, moving on to the next outfit. Similar sort of vibe to the last one with the jogger-esque wide leg trousers. These are so, so stunning. I'm so glad I managed to get my hands on these. Do you know when you just come across something on a website and you're like, that is a bit of me. I just love these. I think these are going to be so versatile. And even though you're going to be getting these for your at-home work wardrobe, you know, like with everything in this, you're going to be able to wear it on a day-to-day -day anyway, eventually, when we get into the outside world. So yeah, I just think these trousers are going to be such a nice staple in your wardrobe because grey, as you guys know, is just a colour that goes with everything. And yeah, these are so comfortable as well. Again, they're in a really soft, fabric they've got pockets i really love this piping detail that runs down them as well gives them a little bit of structure love these love the fit got them in a size eight and then if i just come in and show you what i've teamed them with just teamed them with this simple body again from pretty little thing um so it's just a black body it's got these little poppers here it's long sleeve and then it has this sort of like poofy structured shoulder detailing now i mean i look a little bit flat here but that's because I wear just like a non-padded, just comfy bra for day to day. I mean, if I was going out, I'd probably put a strapless bra on and have a little bit more support. But day to day, I just want to be comfy. So I just like to wear like non-wired, just comfortable bras. So yeah, another cute at-home outfit. Okay, so moving on to the next outfit. So it's a couple of items that I've already shown you um, with the addition of a blazer. Like I said, I feel like everybody's work wardrobe at home is gonna differ just depending on you, the individual, and what works best for you. And I know that sounds really weird, but some people like to wear loungewear, tracksuits, but some people do still genuinely like to dress as if they are going to work and not really make any changes to that. So if you are that sort of person that still feels like you need that smart element, just putting on a blazer can be that simple and make you feel totally different. Um, so I've gone for, again, a little bit slouchy vibe. So we've got plenty of room. This is in a houndstooth print, which I really, really like. It's got toy toys, shell buttons as well. Really good quality. It's really nice and thick. Probably a little bit warm, actually, because I've got the um, heating on currently. But if you are saving on your energy bills as well and you haven't got the heating on, this would be perfect. Yeah, really, really like this. So underneath outfit, I just have the bodysuit um, that I showed you previously and just the sort of pop-up one wide leg joggers. I feel like this goes really nicely over the top, makes it look a little bit smarter, um, and yeah, another outfit. Okay, this next outfit is definitely a little bit of me. I feel like this is very what I would have typically wore to my nine to five job, but this is the brilliant thing about, you know, a lot of the things in this video. Although, you know, we're all staying at home now, working from home, they're things that are versatile. You're gonna be able to wear them back to your job when we eventually go into the outside world, um, and you're gonna be able to wear them for everyday chill anyway. So, next outfit, all in one jumpsuit. You know I love a jumpsuit. Easy, quick, convenient, um, and just well put together. This one is so unbelievably comfortable though, like I cannot stress that enough. So let me just come in and show you. I got this in a size six. Um, I am five foot three, so I normally have to get smaller in jumpsuits. It's like a race of front top half. This is so comfortable here. It's in a really nice soft fabric. Again, I probably haven't got the most appropriate bra on, um, but all about comfortability. And then as you can see, it just goes into a sort of a relaxed leg. It's not a wide leg, um, it's more of a straighter leg, but there's a lot of room. It's quite slouchy and baggy, which I like. That's what I want to feel when I'm at home. It has pockets as well, which you guys know is always a winner for me. And I've just simply chucked on this belt as well. This was from Pretty Little Thing a while ago, so it's probably not online now, but I know they do have similar ones. So yeah, just chucked on the belt because I feel like that just brings the whole look together. I'm also going to show you a blazer that I picked out as well, because again, 
if you're cold inside or you just want to um, just finish the outfit off, you could just whack on a blazer. So, as you can see, I've gone for the colour again. This definitely needs ironing, so please ignore how it is looking at the moment. I know it looks a little bit ridiculous. I feel like whenever something's creased and non ironed, it doesn't look the best, does it? So, yeah. Probably should have ironed it before I filmed this, but hey ho, let's roll. This beautiful, well, what is it called on the tag? It is called Apple Green Oversized Woven Blazer. I got this in a 10, I always upsize in blazers because, again, you know the drill, I like things slouchy, loose fit and comfortable. And I never like my blazers to be super stuck tight, you know, I like them, like I said, just a more of a relaxed fit. Yeah, this blazer is so, so silly. And again, this blazer is going to be a real staple in your wardrobe. It will go with so many different things. Oh, I love how this outfit looks together. So, yeah, this is the next outfit. Okay, moving on to the next outfit. Now, I actually wore this outfit for work at home yesterday. And, oh, absolute dreams. So, it is this waffle knit jogger and top coordinates. Let me come in and show you. They do this in a few different colorways, actually. Khaki cream and stone, I believe. Um, so I just got the black one because black's just, you know, an easy color. Um, so yeah, this is what it looks like. Like I said, just in a real nice waffle knit. It's got a little pocket here, sort of like utility vibes, and then just teamed with these really comfy, relaxed waffle knit joggers. Again, they have the pockets on either side. Really comfy. I believe I got this in a size eight, again, just for referencing. And yeah, again, just a really easy chuck on outfit so comfortable you look great to work you're not in your pajamas so you're winning um yeah love this one okay moving on to a slightly different outfit now now i thought i would try and include something for everyone because i know you know not everybody likes joggers i know not everybody likes trousers i know some people like dresses or skirts I haven't actually got a skirt but i did pick out a dress option just to include for those of you that do like a dress so i've gone for this sort of like oversized baggy slouchy shirt dress i just think at home if you are going to wear a dress you don't really want anything bodycon and too tight fitting you still want to be comfy but again still have that little bit of smartness to it so if i just come in and show you um it's in a really i can't quite work out what this fabric is it's got a little bit of a shine to it um really relaxing though like really comfy fabric and then we've got these sort of like i mean ignore how crazy this looks but like these bat wing oversized sleeves We've got these beautiful gold buttons running down it too. Um, and I just thought that this teamed with a pair of ties just chucked on my Gucci ties. Um, yeah, I thought this could be a little bit of a vibe. It's just really comfy, like I said, to chuck on and wear at home. But I still feel like you look very put together and well dressed. Okay, moving on. Next up we have another jumpsuit. Uh, this time I decided to go for some colour because it's always nice to incorporate a bit of colour into your wardrobe. Um, and it's in this beautiful sort of like light blue color it's really really nice i'm gonna call it like a petrol blue um so i actually already own this jumpsuit um i'm pretty sure it might have been in molly may's collection i am pretty sure i have this in a sort of cream stone color i loved it that much thought i'd get it in another color and this is the other colorway they do admittedly without the belt it is massive so if you try it on with the belt don't be alarmed and think oh my goodness this is huge it is huge but the belt sort of does the work of like pulling it all together so that's the only thing i would say maybe size down also because it does come big this is a size six and like i said without about it is huge but really nice utility jumpsuit pockets either side tie waist pocket detailing and sort of like shirt style at the top so again really quite a smart vibe that it gives but the key again is it's super comfy um it's really sort of loose and baggy on the bottom half which is how i have to feel i hate nothing more than feeling all like tight and you know and comfy here when you're sitting down at a desk the last thing you want to be is like restricted <laughs> love the feel of this again and for reference like i said i got this in a size six okay moving on to another jumpsuit i think you can establish by now that i love a jumpsuit um, and the next one is this beautiful denim sort of white leg jumpsuit now if you watch my pretty little thing hauls on the regular you will know i already own this in a khaki color picked up the khaki one for sort of autumn winter but i feel like this one is definitely more a spring summer style one 
and I love a bit of denim for spring summer it's just that sort of fabric that I really do associate with it so yeah you can't go wrong let me just come in and show you in a little bit more detail so as you can see again it's got this sort of like utility-esque vibe with the pockets here toy toy shell buttons the sleeve isn't quite a full sleeve as you can see um I'm not sure if it's supposed to be like that if it's a three-quarter sleeve I presume it is um and then as you can see the toy toy shell buttons just sort of come down we've got a tie waist which I've just tied up there do we have pockets oh yeah we do have pockets so pockets winner and it just goes into a really nice wide leg and again the sort of utility style pockets either side really floaty really comfy again i feel like denim is one of them fabrics that i wouldn't normally wear at home so for example i wouldn't wear like a skinny pair of denim jeans for me they're not comfy but if denim is in sort of like a baggier style I'm all for it. So yeah, a really beautiful jumpsuit. Probably not something you would typically wear to your office because I mean, I know it wouldn't probably be deemed smart enough for most places, but you're at home and that's the brilliant thing about it. You can sort of wear what you want and what you feel comfortable in. Something for the week when you want to lift your spirits up, feel fashionista, but still super comfy working from home. Okay, so moving on to the last and final outfit and I have left this last one last for a reason because I just thought it was very spring, summer, I don't know, do you know when you just put an outfit on it, it makes you feel happy, uplifts your mood, positive? I tried this on and I thought, oh, I feel very like spring summery and, and yeah, it just felt really good. So yeah, this last outfit is a two-piece coordinate and it is this light denim top and trousers set. I mean, I know you wouldn't rock up to a nine to five in an office wearing this. It's definitely not a smart office look, but there's no rules at home. You can wear whatever you want. And like I said, I really like to have an assortment in my working wardrobe. I like to have comfy, casual loungewear sets, but I also like to have some dressier sets and sometimes you've got blazer on. And other days I just want to wear what I want and just feel really fashionable and stylish, feel good about myself, but still at the same time, the key, throughout all of this is comfy um, and this definitely definitely is comfy so we have these wide leg trousers i love these they fit beautifully i got them in a size eight they have this piping going down the middle of them which is so so stunning they do have a little zip here for side access and the top now the top is the only issue i love this top but i wish i got a size smaller so i actually got this in a six but it's it's really big you guys know i suffer with like small i don't know what it is small shoulder bits like things always fall down on me whatever that is i suffer with that so yeah i would have to get a really small size on top for that reason this is a size six should have got a four. I love the top all the same. I love this little frill detail here. I love the V neckline. And again, it's really comfy and slouchy around the bottom. It's not like, you know, strangling you or anything. Yeah, really cute spring outfit. Still dead comfy. Um, absolute winner. Anyway, guys, that brings us to the end of this pretty little thing. Well, I really, really hope you have enjoyed it and it has given you some ideas of what you can wear at home. And also you may have saw a couple of pieces that you might want to just treat yourself to now um, so you can wear and relax in at home. I will, as always, leave all the direct links in the description bar below for you to check out. Also, one little last word before I go. You may have noticed that I have dyed my hair. I got it done by my friend Becky just before like, we all went into isolation. Um, I was actually due to go back like two days later from when I had this done to get my hair extensions in, but with everything that's happened, um, she's a high risk too. We've all had to go in isolation. My extensions are currently sat at the salon on hold, so yeah, we've had to hold that. I mean, that's the least of my priorities, to be honest with you. That can wait, but just a word on the hair. It isn't actually finished yet, which me and Becky were so gutted about because we couldn't wait for the hair transformation because I always feel like, although it looks nice when you've had a colour, when you have the extensions in, that is the sort of like reveal. Yeah, unfortunately it isn't quite done. We decided to go for like a balayage with like a dark root still. So we've done dark roots, gone lighter at the ends, and then all my extensions are like lighter and like mixed as well. So anyway, we'll have to wait for that. But just an update in case you're like, oh, what, what's going on with your hair? <laughs> um, yeah, I have gone a little bit lighter. But anyway, thank you for watching, guys. I hope you're all keeping well and safe. I'm sending all of my love to you at this difficult time. Bye!